Persevere. Why persevere? There's yes. got to be a meaning. Is this persevere as John Cox, the husband and the father, or is this persevere specifically John Cox as an artist? I think it's all of the above. I think it kind of is just what you need to do. What I take as a simple mantra, a reminder, um, that's almost central to everything that I do. If it's artwork, if it's my responsibilities here at home with my wife and my kids, it's just, it's just that reminder. Well, as I stand in here and I look around, I mean, there, there's a multiplicity of, of medium. You've got the actual geisha gown behind you. You've got what, what seems to be like a couple of photographs of, is that Nelson Mandela there in the no, background? this is a, a ground, a, a, a thing I've been silk screening for a really, really long time. It's just, it's like a crowd of uh, African uh, tribesmen. Um, like kind of traditional and uh, I, I don't really like to start my paintings on a on a on a white surface um, no. I don't like I kind of feel like it's a little bit like a Christopher Columbus thing like I, I I'm not I'm not discovering a new world in this in painting for me like I'm entering a world that exists and I'm hoping to contribute something to the history of that world as you conceptualize um, your, your next body of, of, of work, whatever that may be. Mm -hmm. Do you sit around, John, and do you psych, okay, well, you know, I'm gonna do, do my next group in canvas only, or do you conceptualize the real deep meaning of what you want to portray and then say, you know what, this is gonna look better on right. ceramic, right. or this is gonna look better on a bicycle seat? And that is a great question. I mean, I do give myself, I think the best, uh, I work best when there's limitations to be exploited. So if you have too many options, personally, I end up losing focus. So if you create a limitation, you have to work within that limitation. And I feel like that's when the best results are yielding. What is the tomorrow um, looking like for the world of art here in this wonderful little island of Nassau, or better yet, this uh, this archipelago of ours. I think that there is a space for creatives in the mainstream economy and mainstream society and community right. that we're only collectively now realizing that there's a chair for us at the table. It's okay, I mean, the other part of my life, the John Cox is sitting in an executive context at Bahamar, you know, and I, I would be lying to you if sometimes I said, if I didn't think like, what am I doing here? Like, like, what am I doing here with all these finance people and these legal people and these analytical people and you know, people, these operations people, like, why am I here? Um, and I have to say, well, you're here because you, you know why you're here and you just need to, need to believe that and you need to trust that now there's other people who are recognizing the value of what you symbolize. And so that's why you're here and you're here to make it so the next set of people can come into this space and do your job a hundred times better than you're doing it. Because you're the old clumsy guy who's figuring it out on stage in front of everybody and you're making it possible for the next person to say, hey, I have a playbook. I'm gonna look at what John Cox did. And if he did 10 things, he might have done six of them right and four of them wrong. And I'm gonna do eight things right and two things wrong.